I thought that was a, a you know really really intense game. Both teams uh, really battled and, and played with with uh, a lot of spirit. Uh, that was one of our goals coming into the game is we wanted to have a high level of spirit, and uh, you know I, I thought Davidson did too. Uh, they have a, a very very good team, uh, especially on the offensive end. They're just really really hard to guard and uh, they did a good job making us pay at times in their motion offense but I thought you know over the course of the game we did enough in terms of pressure on the ball and defending some of their guys to come up with the win uh, there was a low in the second half where it seemed like they were scoring almost every time uh, but our guys in the last five minutes did a, did a better job of Clamping down and, and getting some stops. Question. Coach, what were you guys able to do well against Jack Gibbs defensively? Well, he's a good player. I, I thought, uh, you know, obviously if you look at the stat sheet, uh, he went one for ten, so uh, we were able to force him into some misses. But, you know, to be honest, that he uh, he missed some, some shots uh, from outside that he, he probably typically would make. Uh, you know, I don't know if that had anything to do with, uh, you know, us, our style of play, getting to his legs at all or not. I mean, their they're three guards are really, really good players, and those guys all played almost the whole game. Um, but he, he, he's a good player. He got to the line a lot. He's automatic from the line. And uh, I think he's one of the best guys in the league. Coach, here's uh, making a three to yeah, our guys made some made some really good plays in response to Davidson's plays, and I thought Davidson did the same thing. You know, they, they, there were times where, especially being the visiting team, you know, they could have been affected by plays that we made or runs that we tried to go on the way the crowd was. But I thought they really showed poise and composure and hung in there and made some timely shots. And, and that was what was able to keep them within striking distance uh, of that game. But, you know, we made enough uh, on our end. It wasn't the greatest night for us offensively, but I think we made enough. And, um, you know, I, I Mo was able to give us a, a really big lift you know, on, on some rolls and, and then throwing it in there to him a couple times. That was big. The emphasis that you had to put on half-court defense is because you, as the guys learned from November into December, when you looked at the performance tonight where you held Davidson to 20 points under their, their average, what are you seeing collectively as a group as this team goes into January? We've made some progress on defense, Wes. I think uh, early in the year, we did not have a sense of urgency to uh, defend the three-point line. We now have a sense of urgency to rotate and fix it, as we say. Uh, we still got to keep getting better in a lot of areas. Um, you know, Davidson was able to make 10 threes. There was a few late, but, uh, you know, their average was 11, I think 11 and a half. So uh, we certainly wanted to hold them in single digits. But we just got to keep making progress. You know, right now, we got five guys on our team that are ahead of the rest of the guys in terms of defense. And that's the five guys that start the game. Uh, but I thought tonight was a really good step. I thought it was Terry Larry's best game of the year. Doug Brooks uh, really had the eye of the tiger out there. I thought, I thought he, he gave us some high quality minutes. Justin was good. Jake, Jake Kwan gave us some good minutes here and there. And I thought Jared Guest, who's been great in practice, we wanted to reward him by giving him uh, some more opportunity in the game, and he, and he rewarded us back. Coach, speaking about those players, how pleased are you with the depth of your team that you're doing the Well, I think we have a lot of guys that can come in and help us uh, if they're in the right frame of mind. I mean, you got to have a clear head for helping your team win and playing for one another. Uh, the reality is I think all the guys on the bench would love to be starters. I think they would all love to shoot 14 times like Trey did tonight. Uh, but that may not be their role. And uh, if they accept that, and if we all have a clear head for helping our team win, then we can continue getting better and we, 
we can uh, be a very good team. But that's that's a daily process, and that's something that uh, is a choice that, that our guys have to continue to make. This is kind of a weird one. Is it hard to get to sort of optimal efficiency with a team that is so deep? Because you have so many pieces, so many guys that you, it's just a tougher puzzle basically to figure out. In terms of how who to play? Yeah, you know, because if you if you've got five really good guys that are yeah. clearly above, you know who's playing versus like. Hey, Terry can give me this sometimes, Justin. Yeah, you know, it, ch it changes from game to game. And, uh, you know, again, uh, I'm, I'm always quick to point out to our staff, we are coaching human beings. These are not robots. Uh, and not only are they human beings, but they're 18 to 22 years old. I look back when I was that age, uh, you know, it's just, it's, they're still formative years. So uh, they are going to be somewhat variable from game to game. Uh, I think the benefit, though, of playing the way we play is uh, we can come in with, with fresh guys. They can play with a high level of intensity. They can lift each other up. And then they can come out and get a break. And then new guys are ready to come in. Uh, so everyone has their way of doing it. This is our way. And again, the most important thing is when the guys are bought into it, I mean, when they all have a clear head for, OK, this is what coach wants us to do. We're going to try our best to do it then we can be really good. Clearly a point of emphasis to always make sure where those three-point shooters were, particularly with Gibbs and Kolonoski. Yeah, I mean, we, it was a point of emphasis, and they still made 10. That's how good those guys are. Uh, I thought we lost Sullivan in the first half. Yeah. Uh, he, he was the only one hurt you very much, really. Yeah, the other guys laid a little bit. Uh, they're good players, those three guys. I mean, they're, those guys are all conference-level players. and. Tell you, there's going to be a lot of teams that have a hard time with them because uh, they're so good at making reads in their offense uh, that and they make you pay when you when you let up at all, and that happened to us at times tonight. They, you have to call and ask you, they didn't have a three until about six minutes to go in the game. So yeah, what you were obviously doing. It was a point of emphasis for us. Our guys did a good job on that. Uh, you know, to force Gibbs into one for ten, that, that that was really really important. He's been on a tear. Uh, over the last few games. Last question. You talked about uh, before about guys with confidence, especially young players coming in with confidence, freshman, sophomore. Terry gets 11 tonight, but did it seem more just with the authority, the aggressiveness, the way he was going? About yeah, he had a different look in his eye. I mean, he's a guy that, you know, the Terry down the road is going to be a terrific scorer, a terrific rebounder, uh, just a dynamic player. And so we're working towards that. The number one component of that, working towards that, is attitude, coachability, having a clear head. Uh, this is such a change for him relative to last year as it is for most freshmen. But I thought he had a look of confidence tonight. He was aggressive. Uh, he was better on defense than he's been. And he really rebounded well. He went up and got some rebounds. That's what he can do. So. I really uh, was pleased with what he did tonight, and hopefully we can keep building on it.